How's it going everyone? Jesus here, aka Tyrant Dominus, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Anchor. Anchor is the one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid to podcast right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad. Honestly, Anchor is a very enjoyable platform to be on, listen on, and just a joy to be a part of this community. Anchor, come check us out. And welcome back to Reaction Cast. It's your host Jesus, aka Tyrant Dominus, here to give you another series review. This time around, we're going to be talking about the anime The World's Finest Assassins Gets Reincarnated in Another World as an Aristocrat. Yes, it's one of those animes where the, the title basically tells you the entire concept of the show. And uh, yeah, um, for the most part, it's if you don't know this, I will always repeat it. When when <laughs> when animes have these titles, usually they're usually based off of a light novel. Where I'll be honest, a lot of people don't need, read like the synapses in the backs of books anymore. So people make it where the title is the synapse, so you get the plot of the story. Like yes, you know, an assassin becomes an aristocrat in his next life. And uh, for sure, I did. I have been reading the the manga for this so um i'm gonna try to avoid <laughs> comparing the two but it's always interesting to see uh when <clears throat> when it comes to like anime itself uh when it's being adapted from the light novel or from a manga uh see what they they keep uh, and then how they adapt it into a a kind of an animated uh an animated uh, portrayal. So as far as the world's uh, finest assassins get, uh, I'm just gonna call it the world's finest assassin. As far as this f show is concerned, um, you get the, like I said, <laughs> you get this like of renowned assassins from, I'm gonna say Earth, he's from Earth, um, gets basically betrayed by the organization as he grew up as an assassin from a young age. And gets killed by the organization just because he's too pronoun um and at the end of his life he's like okay he gets summoned into another world by you know your classic goddess or god this time around a goddess and she is tasking him with uh the goal of assassinating the hero of the world because of of plot you know he's the, the hero after defeating the demon lord is going to destroy the world <laughs> so weird but sure um but yeah you know at the at the point is like okay so how are you going to defeat the hero of the world you gotta assassinate him what's interesting about the plot uh, i'm not gonna go too deep into like spoilers and stuff what's interesting is i actually the way they explore the goddess a little bit more in this anime is a lot better i feel it might be explained a little bit more in the novel but I like how it's portrayed in this show uh, because there are times when you pop in back with the goddess because she's trying to, she is trying to protect her domain for the most part because yeah, eventually the hero is going to destroy the, 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 the world after a while. So how do you stop that? And you can see that she tries to summon other different quote uh, people to find a way to stop him um and i like I, I like how they explore that as far as our main character um he is reborn as uh lug uh oh shoot how do you pronounce this lug 
Tura De. Uh, and Luke basically is born into an assassin's family. Um, a more like your classic medieval world with, you know, magic and sorcery and stuff like that. And uh, throughout his adventures, he gathers uh, individuals to, ex you know, ex expand his arsenal in not only weaponry but also connections and stuff like that on top of that i like how they explore like i said i've read it so I'm, I'm glad how they were able to explore some of the the character interactions with his his team his family uh they kept it still like very jokey when it came to the scenes uh they keep they kept it uh serious in moments the action sequences they animated in uh, were done were like very great. Uh, they kept it very dark. There are there are some t dark moments in this in this in the in this plot in this story, and I was wondering how dark they were gonna go with this anime, and they did not hold back. There is like there's one specific episode they like really went dark. There are like some dark moments in the beginning, but yeah, there's one specific episode I was wondering like how they're gonna handle this subject and this uh it's not as dark as in the in it's told in the in the I, I believe in the light night novel and in the manga it's like pretty like whoa but yeah they they still went at it in the in the anime and it was like oh um it kind of it didn't like it didn't sour right but it, it does bring your your like your your gut down because of what what the topic is and like oh okay and uh yeah it, it, it's it's for sure just showcases more of what the the world is and um and how serious luke is um but yeah overall the the show itself um it's only season one so you'll, you'll get more out of it uh and i'm glad they did and, and for what season one does for this show for the world's finest assassin um i like how they did portray just kind of his like origin and where what he's fighting for and stuff like that um and it 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 does a good job with a lot of the uh like these like fun moments with him learning how to use magic some of his like love interest um never going to like you know you get you get these classic like harem things but it never delves too much into it uh, for him because he, he is like he's focused and um, but they do joke around with things like that and it's fun uh, and I'm glad they did, did do some fun scenes from the, 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 the mangas and light novels and they did it like very fun um, but like I said some of these like like it's an assassin so they didn't steer away from some of the death scenes uh, and like it was intense uh, but for sure uh, looking forward to more. It's only twelve episodes. Um, I maybe could have could I use the third one, thirteenth? Mm, I don't think so. I don't. Yeah, I, I, it works for for the stopping point for season one. It, it worked for what it was. Uh, I don't think. I'm trying to think. Is there could there been a, another sequence in there from just the the? I don't think so. For for the 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 amount of content they pulled from yeah it, it works yeah it works uh yeah there's uh there, there there could have been a little bit more when he was learning some other trades there could have been one more sequence in there but it's it was more like it would have been more of a an add-on what is it called um a filler yeah it would have just been a, a little bit more filler a little bit more character development with other characters but nothing too much because i think it, it the character development between uh, his other three uh like partners in crime uh are more than enough in here um but yeah it's a fun show for the, sure um so as far as like i said animation really well, well done um i think they used a little cg towards the end uh but nothing too much where it was like jarring besides that everything else was really well animated some of the, the fight sequences like very smooth the the art style they went with this is like like oh who who's the who was actually the was the company that did this 
Studio Silverlink and Studio Palette. Yeah, Silverlink and Palette. Okay, well, okay. I want to. I gotta look into what they did. Uh, but yeah, they did a good job. Like I, I like how they went. It's was smooth and everything. Uh, like I said, some when they when it came to like these vibrant scenes, um, they did that. But when it get dark, it, you know, yeah, they did a good job. Um, the the track it, in itself. Uh, yeah, um, nothing more really to say. I the, the the intro and outro for this one. It was more than I thought it was gonna be. I did not expect the outro, the intro to be what it is. Uh, just very, uh, <laughs> very like pumped. Um, I think I've only listened to it twice, and I just kind of skipped after that. Um, it wasn't really for me, but for didn't it didn't really jar me. The outro was very somber and stuff, so I kind I think I only listened to that once and maybe at the end of the when I watched the finale uh, of season one besides that yeah no it wasn't there's some there, there's certain ones that pop off and it is, these two did not pop off but it didn't really negate from the show itself it just that's what those are my thoughts for the intro outro for season one of the show besides that yeah the the, the plot itself and the way that this the show is structured um and some might say that the flow of how the episodes are laid out are, are a bit jarring but I, I don't think so it works because you know you're bouncing between Luke's story some of the uh, some some outside character stories and then the story of the goddess um, and there, I, I will say that some sometimes it does kind of like jump around a little bit but not too bad once you once if you just sit in there and let it like um, sink in um, besides that yeah so those are my thoughts of the the world's finest assassin gets reincarnated in another world as an aristocrat. I'm gonna give this one a I'm gonna give this one a solid eight actually. The, this enemy was a solid eight um, because the reason I'll, I'll say a solid eight it was like it's a great show. Um, they didn't hold back from the uh, the the content. I like I honestly was all surprised they went into it. Uh, and uh, it could have gotten a little too intense. Uh, sometimes you want that, but I think they handled the the the, the subject well. Um, some of the fun sequences, some of the comedy in here, it worked well. Um, and uh, yeah, it it just it, it worked for what, what it was. Uh, so I am looking forward to season two whenever that comes out. I'm hoping St uh, Studio Silverlink and Studio Palette will continue their work with this. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, let me know what you guys thought of this show. Uh, are, are you excited for season two or were you like off put by it? Let me know of your thoughts on it. Um, as always, you can, uh, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter. Um, so, uh, thanks again for listening or watching until next time. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.